I bought a cage hoop skirt thingy from Ikea and I am not sorry. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. It was twenty dollars, it was twenty dollars, it was twenty dollars. I bought this thing, which I will show you better in other images, but it is from Ikea or Ikea, depending on how you like to pronounce that. And it was recommended to me by a Swedish YouTuber who is also into Lolita, and she wears it, and it fits her, and so I knew it would fit me, and so I bought it. I am most excited to tell you all about this, but first, I need to open it. So, I'm going in a little blind. I can't see what you're seeing, but I'll try to show it to you. It's this, this thing. I'll have the name in it down below, because if I try to pronounce Latio, I probably got it wrong. Um, this is from the children's section of Ikea. Uh, here's a better image of the thingy and the name. Yeah, yeah, that's the thingy and it is the name. Okay, so... I was thinking that this would be very useful because I am going to Anime Expo uh, as part of my work with the website Cosplay Crisis. And, uh, ooh, look at this. Look at this here. Look at that. That's the waistband. Looks kind of stretchy. I might have to replace that. It's definitely meant for, I think, a child, the waistband at least. Uh, it's a very nice sort of netting material that's over this, so you're not going to see the hoops. And in total, we've got, um, I'm not going to show it very well here. We've got three hoops. This is the center hoop. And then you've got the other ones. The center one is a piece of uh, elastic that has uh, been tunneled through some ribbon. It's like nylon ribbon, so it'll be comfy. And everything else is looks like nylon. The ribbons here for the uh, to hold the hoops together it looks like nylon. And then the actual hoops are probably plastic. So the first thing I discovered upon picking this up is that the underskirt or the the netting is actually a separate skirt entirely, and the and the cage or the uh, hoop skirt is its own separate thingy above her. This looks more than long enough for Lolita, and it actually might be a little too long for Lolita. Before I put this on, I want to apologize for having a Lolita face, or at least an Ida face, but having sort of a Mori key thing going on today. This is just what I was wearing, and then right as I was putting my face on, fun fact, I'm now living with another YouTuber, and that person started recording upstairs. <laughs> So I was kind of in this weird middle ground, and then he finished, and then I didn't quite have enough time to, you know, change her before the light one way. As we could only film on the same day, apparently. That's how it goes. So let's try this on. So let me just pull up this chair here. Noise. All right, let's try to do this without breaking our necks. Uh, shaky. Okay, so what I want to point out right away is obviously you can tell this is not even. It is not as even as if you were to hire, um, say, uh, one of the Chinese Taobao companies uh, to make this. Fan Plus Friend makes a hoop skirt uh, out of pleather, meaning that each component, these are steel rings, I think, on their design, and then they line it with a uh, pleather on the outside so that your skin does not touch the metal. 
and that obviously would be way more consistent but in terms of a $20 children's toy this feels amazingly comfortable on an adult woman's waist right now my waist is about 27 inches and this is comfortable and the Lolita who recommended it to me I do not want to say anything that might be misconstrued but she is a slightly larger person than I which is why I was really interested in this so to confirm it fits a wide range of sizes comfortably I would say What, you're telling me you can't turn into a Lolita in between jump cuts? So at this point, you can obviously tell that, oh yeah, it fits pretty good. And it looks pretty good when you just sort of throw it on over anything. And then you actually wear it with a Lolita dress. This one is by Baby the Starshine Bright. I chose it because it's pretty standard in terms of Lolita fare, and I wanted to pair something with it that could not be some kind of anomaly and that's why it would work but most others wouldn't work I wanted to stick with something pretty standard and it's obviously a little too long you can see it um, I think that probably it's too long because it's one hoop too long and I'm going to look into whether or not I can modify this and I will keep you updated on that because I think this is actually pretty good It'd be useful to have some kind of like smoothing layer um, maybe if you have a deflated petticoat that would be useful but um, it seems to support it just fine and the immediate thing I noticed when I put on this hoop skirt versus wearing a classical puppet's petticoat is that I immediately felt pretty darn cool. Um, I felt much more temperate and much more uh, just comfortable with the temperature wearing the hoop skirt than I did with wearing just a petticoat. And that's a big thing in Lolita because as long as the temperatures are temperate or a little bit on the cooler side, it's absolutely fine to wear Lolita fashion. But the minute you get into the more um, hot temperatures, you know, sort of the summertime temperatures, it can be very difficult to wear Lolita and to be comfortable. And the hard thing is, is that you want to enjoy yourself while you're wearing these pretty clothes. You don't want to be, you know, miserable in them. And so there is definitely a benefit to seeking out, you know, more inexpensive alternatives uh, that will keep you cooler. Um, I would still recommend if you're really hardcore and you know that you really, 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 really want a hoop skirt for Lolita, probably going straight to the professionals is still your best bet. But in my case where I'm really up in the air in terms of whether or not I want to invest $90 or more into a professionally made hoop skirt, spending $20 at Ikea was a really great idea because again I think maybe with just taking off the last hoop this actually might fit pretty darn well so this is cracked teacup and she says eh?